looking at a premium sport utility that really does blend uh, luxury and sport the best. This is the Range Rover Sport Supercharged. Range Rover Sport, you're going to find Land Rover's 4.2 liter V8. Now this is the supercharged model, so it's a supercharged 4.2 liter V8 engine. 390 horsepower, it's rated from the factory. It's routed to a 6-speed automatic, 20-inch wheels on the outside that are exclusive to the supercharged model. A lot of torque, a lot of thrust, an absolute blast to drive. I mean, Range Rovers are pretty much the epitome of, uh, of truck luxury, and it's a blast to drive, it's super comfortable, it's got some great, great options. We'll take a close look. Show you most of the features of the Range Rover Sport. Uh, there really aren't any options on this. There's a rear entertainment system. Uh, it's a factory option. It doesn't have that, but uh, just want to show you the front. You do get a silver accent grill. Uh, this is a flat gray on the HSE model, so that indicates the uh, supercharged model. Uh, what's neat here is the supercharged models of Land Rovers get this black Land Rover badge, and the reason it's black is that this is essentially the initial Land Rover badge that they had uh, back when Land Rover uh, was conceived as a new corporation. Uh, it's green now on the newer cars. Uh, because they wanted to go with more of a green friendly effort. That's the real reason they switched to green. So that's the original Land Rover badge in black. Uh, you can see the whole front end, uh, Range Rover lettering as well. Uh, it's in great condition. Obviously, uh, as in any car, you're going to have a couple stone chips across the front, so it has those. Uh, nothing I can really show you on camera because it won't, it won't show up. Uh, front park sensors as well as an inside fog lamp. Uh, these are bi xenon headlamps uh, with an adaptive feature. They do turn while you drive. Just want to point out one blemish in here. Uh, we've got like a touched up stone chip here. That's uh, really the only uh, blemish I can point out. A couple of light surface scratches here. But uh, everything is in original condition. Let's take a look at these wheels here. These are 20 inch wheels from the factory at Land Rover. Uh, you can see behind there you've got Brembo brakes. Uh, these are Michelin tires and they are 275-40R20. But they are called the Latitude, and it is a mud and snow tire. The original tires that come on here are Bridgestone Potenza. Uh, it is a summer tire. They're absolutely awful in winter driving. Uh, with the mud and snow, you can be secure in this car that you don't have any issues. All wheel drive as well. Let's take a look for the rest of the uh, driver's side. Look at the reflection in the paint. No issues, no damage, no chips to speak of. Once again, 20 inch rear wheel. Coming around to the rear. Got a real light uh, surface scratch here. Uh, just a couple of scuffs that you probably can't even see with the uh, camera along there, just from uh, loading things into the car, but uh, excellent as well. The exposed exhaust under the rear bumper, once again, exclusive to the supercharged model. And you can see the four park sensors across. Just want to show you the cargo area. You have two options for opening the tailgate. One, you can open the window. Uh, if you don't want to do that, just press this button, pop open the hatch. This does have a height adjustable suspension, so when you lower it to the loading level, which is where it's at right now, uh, it's very easy to get in, get in the car. Uh, you do have the Land Rover uh, winter mats in here, which are great. Uh, I would always recommend putting these in a Land Rover. You gotta step up and they're good in muddy conditions as well as snowy. Uh, back here you've got uh, jack tools and the owner's manual storage as well. So we'll continue around to the passenger side. a little bit of a scuff here in the paint. It is in the paint. It's not necessarily damage. It is surface. Uh, it can probably be repaired, so there's no real body damage, but it is definitely a scuff on the paint uh, right on the lip of the wheel well there. But uh, as far as uniformity, all the way down, you can see that the passenger side's in great shape. To demonstrate the quality, I'm going to give you things a pretty good slam. Land Rovers are really, really solid super solid trucks. I don't know if they're the absolute best off-road, but as far as a car you could buy in a showroom, you can't beat these. They're super, super solid. Just looking across the dashboard, this is a really sporty, uh, sports car-like driving position. Uh, you get a little bit laid back, the console's high, the shifter's right here, the steering wheel's really, really thick, so you, sitting in a standstill, it definitely feels sporty. Uh, great steering wheel, uh, Bluetooth connectivity, you've got your uh, hang up and, uh, and dial here, uh, as well as your cruise control functions and your radio controls. Uh, this will flip to the mode on there. You do have an automatic wiper setting. Flip this up once and they're automatic. Uh, there's a rain sensor mounted right up at the top there that will monitor what the moisture content of the windshield is and then adjust the speed accordingly. 
Up here, touchscreen navigation. This is a great system, probably one of my favorite navigation systems. It is so easy to use. As you can see on the screen here, there's a demonstration uh, mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start button on here. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Then the route guidance will start. As you can see, the the screen is changing. It actually shows the car driving, but it's... After two-tenths of a mile, turn right. It's actually giving us automated instructions on exactly uh, what our destination is and how to get there. These are really cool systems. If you have an experience of factory... Turn right. If you have an experience of factory navigation system, they're really cool and really well set up. Looking across the top of the console, you've got dynamic stability control. That is the master for your traction control. It is an all-time four-wheel drive system. You don't have to change it into any transfer case. It's all electronically controlled, but uh, that does complement the all-wheel drive for maximum stability. Park distance control, this will kill the uh, park distance control uh, if you so need. As soon as I put it in reverse, that light's gonna pop on. You hear a confirmation beep to let you know that the uh, system is working. Uh, these are your master lock switches. Great, great stereo. Harman Kardon Logic 7 sound system. 550 watt output, 6 disc CD changer here, Logic 7 surround sound, you've actually got a center channel up here. One of the clearest and most well balanced stereos I know of, one of my favorites. Take a look down here, uh, you've got heated seats for both front passengers as well as an automatic climate control. One neat Land Rover feature, and you can't see it here in the, in the camera, but there's tiny little filaments here in the window that are actual heat coils, and this is the heated windshield button. So if you've got a set of icy wipers one morning, start the car up, sit with a couple minutes for this on, and you're gonna clean them right off. Taking a look at across uh, where the driver's position is, you really do sit in a very, very sporty position. Uh, right here you've got the control for the six-speed automatic. Pop it right in drive, uh, pop it to the left there. That will put it in a uh, sport mode. Uh, that sport mode allows the transmission to shift a lot quicker, uh, also at the higher rev ranges. However, you can use it as a manual. Push forward to shift up, pull back to shift down, and that's essentially it. Electronic parking brake. Now this right here, I'll pull these up just to show you. This is a system that they call terrain response. Now this is essentially the manipulation of the traction and stability controls, but you've got four settings for it. It's off right now. You have a grass, gravel, and snow, this is called mud ruts. This will allow for a lot of free wheel spin, but still help dig you out of the, uh, of the muck. Uh, this one is sand. If you actually drive the car in the sand mode, the throttle feels entirely different. The electronics change altogether. And then this next one, this one's rock crawl. You actually can't activate that until you're in low range. I'll show you exactly how to do that. You put it in neutral, click it in the low range, you hear the quick click. And Dave, if you want to go ahead and close the door, the vehicle's going to lift itself right up. In the back seat of the Range Rover Sport. I'm a six foot tall guy. I'm very comfortable. The outbound passengers back here have a heated seat, as you can see, right here for both. And under here, you have an auxiliary input for the radio. Uh, as long as you have the right connection, you can connect an iPod, uh, really any sort of media device that can accept that uh, as an input. I mean, this is really one of those trucks that just makes you feel special every minute you spend behind the wheel. 390 horsepower. I'm not going to say that it's the fastest thing out there, but it's definitely quick. Uh, if you dig into this car, it will not disappoint. Uh, black, black combination is fantastic. All original condition. Brand new set of Michelin tires. These really are freshly installed. Uh, and not only that, they're not even a cheap set of tires. That's a really good set of tires. I just want to share a little bit of additional information with you. Uh, I do have a copy of the uh, Carfax report here. Uh, this was a Carfax one owner vehicle, as it says, uh, came from Texas, uh, Southern State Car. Uh, it was a two-year lease, uh, came off lease and was offered to us for sale. And not a whole ton of info, but a squeaky clean Carfax guaranteed vehicle. Uh, on the flip side, we did take this to uh, Land Rover Naperville, uh, one of our local dealers here, and we made sure that uh, you know, it had not had its 30,000 mile uh, 30, maintenance done. Uh, we did get that done. Uh, so it's completely up to date on maintenance. Uh, the Land Rover four year 50,000 mile, which does include your maintenance, uh, that runs through October 10th, 2011. So you've got a great amount of time left with that. Thanks for spending time with us and getting up close with this awesome Range Rover. I mean, double black sport supercharged, that is the coolest one out there. Uh, a blast to drive, drives like a brand new car, obviously very well cared for. 
really a thrilling drive. Check us out online. You can check us out at ChicagoCarsDirect.com to view our entire current inventory, or you can also see our entire film reel. That's posted on YouTube at YouTube.com slash ChicagoCarsDirect. Once again, we appreciate your time. Thanks for spending some time with us in this beautiful, beautiful double black Range Rover Sport. We'll see you again soon.